Um, last night I did a speech at my kids' school, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I did it anyway. I was supposed to do my portfolio speech Monday, but something had happened which prevented me from doing it. I did come in and talk to Dr. Phil, and Sarah was here. Um, this has been going on since September. We, some, One of you did a speech in here about bullying, didn't you? We touched topic on it or something. Anyway, my youngest child since September has been being bullied. And I didn't know it and I didn't find out until Sunday night to where it's so bad that he is so traumatized he won't even go to school. He's autistic anyway, so it makes it even worse. So I just want to tell you mothers and even single fathers, whatever, if you have any suspicion or you think something's wrong, you, you need to check it out because I had no clue. You know, it's not like this has just been going on a couple weeks. It's been going on for months to where now my, my kid is totally traumatized. He's scared to death. He thinks I'm making him go back to school so he can get beat up. I mean, I'm having a really hard time dealing with this. I was not going to come to school today because of this because I have to meet with the principals again here at noon. But this bullying stuff is really serious. And I never thought it would happen to me that my kid would be a victim of it. So just spread the word. If you know someone that's being bullied or a bully that is bullying people, please step up and say something because it, it's, it's bad. I mean, it goes as far as down as low as kindergartners doing it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know it is a serious issue. Thank what you. What did you tell them last night? Um, I just started talking, you know, Cameron had a box clean next, next to me, and he recorded it on his phone, so I got to look at it today to see how much. That um, bullying in our schools has become an epidemic, and I used my kid, I didn't take Alex with me because, you know, but I used the situation at hand as my example, and I didn't made it through without crying, that was pretty good. Um, that it's going on in this school right now that your children are going to, that my child is a victim of it. And if you know your child is a bully or being bullied, just step up to the plate and deal with it. Because there are parents out there that know that their kids are bullies and they don't do a damn thing about it. Mm -hmm. They'll say, oh, leave that kid alone. But you know, saying that to a bully, you know, he pushed my kid so hard that he hit his head on a metal bar and his glasses flew off. He came home and took his lunch money. He came home that day and told me he had a headache. That was about two weeks ago. I said, why, you got a headache? He goes, oh no, I just got a headache. So he didn't tell nobody, nobody knew. And his older brother's in sixth grade and he didn't even know what was going on. So it's been um, really hard on him, as you can imagine. You know, each day it progressively got worse. And he come home hungry all the time. I'm starting to put things together now. Well, I gave you lunch money, why didn't you eat? Because this kid's been taking his money and calling him retarded and pushing him down. and. Yeah, so it's, it's serious. So I basically said, deal with your kids as you would want to be dealt with, you know, because if my kid was ever bullied anybody, first of all, I'd be contacting that other parent and making them apologize for one. But with the law of, you know, can't give out phone numbers and stuff, you know, I already told the principal, I said, if that mom wants my number, give it to her. But I haven't heard nothing from her, but it's just, you look at kids every day at school and you would think, ah, oh, he ain't a bully, or no, not my kid, ain't gonna get bullied. I, mean, I used to think that. How did your audience respond? I got a standing ovation. Hmm. My son gave me Kleenex, the principal um, said he was gonna write a newsletter sent home in everybody's folders, supposed to come out today. My name's on, I'll bring one in to show you. Um, I was pretty proud of myself. I mean, you know how I'm talking for you guys, Imagine a whole auditorium from <laughs> kindergarten to sixth graders and all their parents. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> but I did it, and Cameron even said, Mom, I'm really proud of you. I was, you know, because I didn't think I was going to make it through because I've been crying emotional wreck since Sunday night. 